top five richest families in the Gambia. It is often said that to achieve wealth, one must admire and learn from those who have already attained it. Today we delve into the intriguing world of Gambia's top 10 richest families, uncovering the qualities and businesses that have propelled them to success. As we explore their stories, we may discover admirable traits and valuable insights that can inspire our paths to prosperity. As we learn from their achievements, let us discern the qualities that resonate with us and apply those lessons to our own aspirations, driving us closer to our dreams of success and prosperity. Ready? Let's go! Number 1. Aliu Conte Aliu Conte was born in 1952 in the village of Gunjur in the Gambia. He is a businessman operating in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. He received his education in London and at Cal Caltech, that is California State University. He worked as a deputy editor-in-chief of the daily newspaper in 1981 before he went to the De Democratic Republic of Congo. He initially traded in metals, foodstuff, and mainly exported coffee beans to London. During the last major civil war in Congo, he lost everything to the rebels. After President Laurent Desire Kabila came to power in May 1997, he gave a speech in Kinshasa that got Conte thinking about telecommunications. In 1999, he started the Congolese Wireless Network CWN, with initially 4,000 customers. Ultimately, he acquired a GSM license for $2 million. At the time of the civil war, at that time, the civil war was still at its height, with rebel forces closing down Kinshasa airport. No foreign manufacturer sent a cell phone tower, so Conte had to convince local residents to collect scrap metals and make one themselves. The tower still stands today. In 2001, he entered into a joint venture with Vodacom, South Africa's largest mobile operator, in which Vodacom took a 51% stake. By mid-2006, Vodacom Congo already had more than 3 million customers. Mr. Conte is reported to be the richest Gambian out there. He is currently 71 years old. Number 2. Basiru Jawara Basiru Jawara, a native of Sabi in the Upper River region, is arguably among the wealthiest this tiny West African nation has seen. Alaji Basiru continued to trade in diamonds and became an international diamond dealer license to trade in various countries such as Botswana, Lesotho, South Africa, Sierra Leone, Switzerland, Switzerland rather, Antwerp, Belgium, and Hatton Gardens in London. Alaji Basiru is today the proud owner of a large real estate in the Gambia. In 1962, Alaji Basiru's first investment in the country was to build the first five-story building in the country. In 1966, he imported the first Mercedes-Benz in the Gambia. In 1979, he, brought, he bought Wadner Beach Hotel and became the first citizen of the country to enter the hotel industry at a time when hotels were predominantly owned by white expatriates. In 1982, he purchased a second Fajara hotel in which boasts one of the largest and most lush grounds in the country to date. It is reported that Basiru Jawara made his first million at the tender age of 18. Number 3. Amadou Samba Amadou is from Banjul Havda area. He is a lawyer by profession. His dedication to public service led him to the Attorney General's Chambers, where he rose to the rank of Senior State Counsel before venturing into the private practice. Looking at the business's climate in the country, then he asked himself if illiterates, people who are not lettered, can do business, how much more somebody who has his type of education? He found that a lot of people were more comfortable than some of us who spent many years studying. Then boom. All of a sudden, he entered the world of the private sector. Embracing the entrepreneurial spirit, Amadou established multiple successful companies, defying the notion that education might hinder business prowess. In no time, Mr. Sambu established Alfron, 
Gambia Import and Export Company Limited, Mosam Fisheries Gambia Limited, a massa shipping agency. By 1992, Amadou had become president and chairman of Gazem Company Limited. This year, 2023, Mr. Sambo is 71 years old. Number 4. Mohamed Ja Mohamed Ja is a Gambian businessman who made his fortune in the telecommunication industry. He has a diploma in Islamic studies in Saudi Arabia and a degree in electronics and communication engineering at the University of Sierra Leone. He founded QuantumNet Institute of Technology, which offered IT courses from basic to advanced level, including a diploma program in compute, computing science and business management. QuantumNet is now a group of companies which has also gone into the car business, distributing, among others, Mercedes-Benz. Ja is the chairman and majority shareholder of the bank. He is the owner and CEO of QSAL, arguably the best telecommunication company in the Gambia. He also owns a number of other companies which together with the bank and telecom make up the Q group. Mr. Ja recalled that when he was starting out, it was madness for bright graduates like himself not to seek a job with the government since most opportunities were in the public sector. He said now most young people dream of setting up their own companies. Technology has changed everything. The private sector has overtaken the public and this is the way Mr. Ja thinks it should be. Number 5. Mustafa Njaya Mustafa Njaya was born in Banjul in 1957 and upon completion of his professional training, he worked for international construction firms in the Gambia for 13 years. He established his own constru construction company in 1990 and called it Tough Construction Company Limited. He completed, he completed his formal education at Gambia Senior Secondary School, Banjul. Mustafa Njaye was tasked to design, build and furnish 52 presidential villas when the Gambia was to host the African Union Summit. This was completed in a record time of four months with satisfaction. As a result, Mr. Njai was jointly nominated the 2006 Man of the Year by the Gambia News and Daily Report. This 66 years old real estate mogul has left his mark in Nigeria and is currently building a smart city in Gunjur in the Gambia. He has a dream to build houses in every African country. He is currently building new real estate housing projects in Sierra Leone. Exploring these top 5 richest families in the Gambia not only provides us with valuable insights into their successful businesses, but also sheds light on the importance of the private sector in wealth creation. It becomes evident that many billionaires have achieved their riches through entrepreneurship rather than government offices. Additionally, this examination highlights the prominence of the technology industry real estate industry and food trading industry showing their significance in driving economic prosperity in this country.